Hi, I'm Angie with Cardiac Magazine, and I am here with Ken Stringfellow and John Auer of The Posies. Um, so you guys just put out a new record uh, in September, and that was your first album in five years. And you've been really, really busy with other projects. What made you, what was the impetus behind doing a new Posies album at that time? Well, we, we would have done it sooner, really. Just like you mentioned, we're, we have other projects and things going on. And, you know, we, we finished up the touring we toured a lot for the last Posies album, Every Kind of Light, which came out in 2005. We, we toured, we played hundreds of shows, literally. And when that was done, we were like, okay, let's just take a little break here and catch up on some things that we couldn't do, you know, at the same time, obviously. And all of a sudden, it was like, zip. It was 2009, we're like, oh, okay. Yeah, a lot I of guess time we, uh, that was our break, so. Well, we didn't plan it that way, it just kind of, just happened, you know? Mm -hmm. What are some of like the themes behind this particular album? Uh, well, is that a very general question? It's a general question. I mean, I think I think uh, there's definitely. I hate to use the word maturity because it it often implies old and boring. American maturity. <laughs> American maybe. maturity, but there, I don't know. This 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 <laughs> uh, soon. this record we actually kind of I don't know. It's probably our most sophisticated, dare I say, piece of piece of work. It has a. Uh, some of things you might expect from the posies, and then there's some things that are so far off the map from anything that we've done before that, and then somehow we kind of balanced both of those things. And I think I think pretty well, actually. We we tend to write our lyrics pretty much in dream speak. So I mean, there's you know opacity is like kind of one of our trademarks. So the themes they're kind of slippery. You know I mean there's looking at it now there's quite a lot of kind of existential, you know, where am I, who am I, where are we going kind of things, which that's a typical midlife kind of contemplation, <laughs> you know, so not not a shocker there. Uh, but there's also just, you know, I mean, as, it's kind of like, you know, here we are in San Francisco, there's a psychedelic thing in there, you know, where things can be really heavy and really playful at the same time, you know, kind of mm -hmm. juggling that kind of Dichotomy. Mm -hmm. That's typical Posies, circa 2010. Well, this is the first um, album since '96 is that you guys wrote your material in advance of the sessions. That's what was true. kind of the songwriting process behind? Well, this album? kind of, kind of more like the traditional way we used to do it. I mean, um, you're right because the, the the record that we made before we broke up uh, in 1998 was this record called. Success and it was, odds and sides. Yeah, it was just like a collection of things. It was literally a bunch of leftover stuff. And then, two thousand and five, we made this record called Every Kind of Light, that we basically not basically we we made up in the studio because, well, we had two weeks to make a record and that was our only choice basically. Once again, the the other projects thing. I mean, we were like making like tons of records in other bands all at the same time, and we had sort of a. You know, I mean, we didn't really know where things were going with our band either, and you know, kind of got back on this kind of like let's see what happens basis. But that meant that you know we had to squeeze it in amongst some other recordings, and uh, so yeah, we didn't we didn't have a composition and trade demos time. For right, this record. which is what we did this this go around. We kind of went back to the old school method of actually writing songs before you go into the studio, and oh, and something else we did, which is kind of unusual for us, is we actually rehearsed before we went into the studio, which actually ended up being really, really necessary, yeah, really necessary sure, yeah. and also pretty amazing because we put a lot of work into it. Yeah, it really, it really did. It worked out well this time. Why did you guys decide to record in Spain? And you guys lived together during the recording sessions, right? So what was that experience like? Well, Matt has this mansion, our bass player has this mansion in the south of Spain, and he said, uh, come on down. And yeah. um, <laughs> you know, well, I'm... I, we picked the studio for kind of its, you know, the fact that it was an all-in-one place and you can live there and, and you know, the, they, they cook for you and all this kind of stuff. And the atmosphere is, is you know, just really uh, chill, as we say. You know, it's all, it's, you know, it's Andalusia, <laughs> South of Spain, so it's very sunny and nice. And the studio is really cool and full of, you know, dumpy, dusty old gear that, that sort of works. and Crazy, weird instruments. Yeah. yeah. It's, you know, it's, it's fantastic. So, you know, and there's nothing around this. It's not really, it's near the town of El Puerto de Santa Maria, um, but it's not really in the town. So there's nothing, there's no restaurants, no bars, no shops or anything around. In fact, there's hardly any houses around. 
there's a lot of like kind of scrubby empty lots around the little compound where this is and so you know it was no there was no no activity totally other than just wake up record and drink wine and go to bed repeat it was awesome. yeah i mean we slept really cool. we slept in an apartment that was 30 feet from the studio door you know nice. 30 yeah. drunken steps from the <laughs> How convenient. It's one step too many. should have been 29. So you guys started the Posies in 1988 when you guys were teenagers. Mm -hmm. What are some of the ways you've adapted to all, as like, you know, working professional music musicians, some of the ways you've adapted, adapted to all the changes that have occurred over the past 20 years? Well, we spend so much less time treating our acne. <laughs> um, you know, it just frees up the day for creativity. It's yeah. incredible. Well, there's this thing called the internet that uh, wasn't around when we started, which is kind of dates us obviously and I mean uh, that's a godsend I mean if we'd had the internet when we started out we would have totally utilized something like that I mean not I don't think a lot of people know this about the posies but we were very much a real do-it-yourself band I mean um, my father back in the 80s put a like a modest but powerful little home recording studio in the what was essentially the rec room of our house and that's where we made the first Posies record when we were teenagers. And, I mean, we were total geeks for recording. We weren't even like a band at that point. It was just Ken and I writing songs, recording, blah, blah, blah. And we actually made this demo tape that became our, our first record. And we actually uh, were do-it-yourself enough to, you know, make cassettes of this record and go sell them to record stores, like, on foot, out of backpack, basically. Mm -hmm. And I guess my whole point with this is, like, you know, we really could have used the internet back then. I mean, you know, you had to leave your house to promote yourself, you know, mm -hmm. back then. But, you know, now you can just sit around and tap away. Make it happen. Yeah. yeah. There, you know, no cell phones. Yeah. You know, back back then there's lots of, lots of, uh, you know, going on tour without a GPS. Yeah. You know, <laughs> and without a cell phone to call the club when you're lost. You know, this is all quite interesting. Yeah. We had to, in fact, I remember like on early tours, you know, we would go to AAA and have them print us out route maps. That's totally true. Oh, really? Yeah, because, yeah. you know, you couldn't just, there was no internet to go do that and no MapQuest. Or cell phone to yeah. call if you get lost. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. 